it's Toby with the Utah Avalanche Center. I'm up here um, just across the highway from the Bear Lake Overlook and I'm looking at an avalanche that occurred yesterday. It was remotely triggered uh, by some folks hiking um, not too far away. Uh, it was a fairly good size hard slab avalanche about uh, about 200 feet wide and three to four feet deep and um, the avalanche failed on uh, <laughs> sugary faceted snow and I'm not an area that, that gets a lot of uh, wind drifting and this snow has uh, drifted in here uh, probably in the past week or so and it drifted in on top of uh, near surface facets or sugary snow that uh, was on the surface for a few days when temperatures were really cold before uh, last week's snowstorm and then uh, these big drifts blew in and, and it uh, became a big uh, hard slab um, uh, and, and that um, was triggered remotely so um, it was likely that it, it might have uh, failed on a persistent week layer and sure enough there is a thin layer of, of faceted snow.